Okay, welcome, Facebook Lemmings. Uh, this is James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21 Progressive Discussions. I just want to let everyone know just how fucked up uh, Facebook's uh, low budget computer programmer designed um, system is for going live streamed. And when I say streamed, I mean a, a, a urine uh, stream, a uh, live show inviting a guest. I attempted to do a live show with the Renaissance man, the evangelist, performing artist, can create earlier, and it was over 45 minutes, right? All that talking wasted. Guess how much of that video was actually saved to Facebook? Ah, out of 45 minutes, one minute, one lousy minute was saved. Now, I don't know if um, the roommate that Ken is staying with is a cheap motherfucker and his, uh, you know, his Wi-Fi connection sucks and it belongs back in uh, Fred Flintstone's uh, cave or if Ken Create did not follow my instructions and click on the message where you get invited to the live show. Something went wrong. I'm going to have to talk to him uh, a little bit later because we're headed out for uh, the uh, nightclub uh, Pier 115 Bar and Grill on uh, the Hudson River uh, off River Road in Edgewater, New Jersey. And um, uh, Salawan J uh, John is watching. Hello. Um, greetings. I wave. I'm not sure if she wants to be on camera or not. I have no idea. So it's always safe to wave at somebody. But I did invite some people in case they felt like ranting or venting. Now, they're, they're going to be picking me up. Um, uh, the great Joe Salza, uh, will, uh, who is uh, Ken uh, Create's um, driver, his limo driver, uh, will be uh, bringing him here and, and then he will pick me up and we will be headed for uh, Pier 115 Part 2. And I am sure I will get some outstanding uh, video footage. I don't mean footage like, like a, 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 a broad certified podiatrist, like a foot doctor. Footage. I'm sure you can get great footage in a podiatrist's office, but it's not that, not, I don't mean it that way. I meant, you know, uh, I, I'm bringing my really good Sony camera, 18.3 megapixels, and uh, I will be getting uh, Hopefully, it'll be a clear night. I'll get a great shot of Manhattan at night because the, the restaurant and nightclub is on a huge pier. So I'll be getting a great um, shot of Manhattan as well as video action of performing artists can create. You know what I mean, jelly beans? So, this is what went wrong. We had a real deep discussion earlier, and I thought Ken Create was on the show because I could hear him speak. Hi, Salawan John. I could hear Ken speak loud and clear, but for some reason, this fucking Facebook, only one minute was recorded out of 45 minutes. It happens to be Saturday, um, August 31st. That's right, the last day of August, 2019. The last day of August, August 31st, 2019. Tomorrow is uh, September 1st. Uh, I just want to say happy Labor Day weekend, 2019 to everyone. 
out there in cyberspace and the universe and the uh, Milky Way and Andromeda Galaxy. I want to say happy Labor Day weekend, the unofficial, the unofficial ending of summer. Now, how could it be, how could I get a warning, how could I get a warning uh, um, signal that says low internet connection? How could there be a low internet connection if I happen to have the high speed internet modem right in the, in the next room? How can that be? You know what I think this is? This is sabotage done by hawk nosed Mark Zuckerberg that is just a control freak, corporate fascist geek that likes to sabotage people. I mean, why? How can it be that I'm getting a low internet connection warning uh, message if I happen to be right near a high speed uh, motor? and whatever. I got high speed everything. So how could it be a low connection? So it's it might not be the fault of Can Create. I, I hear I'm blaming him for nothing. It's probably Facebook. It has to be Facebook because I have high speed connection. So why am I getting this warning message from Facebook? I'll tell you why. Because Zuckerberg, beep, 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 big hawk nosed piece of shit, probably hires outsourced, low budget computer programmers to run his website because he's a greedy, cheap prick that needs an old fashioned nose job the way we used to do in my neighborhood back in the day, either with my pipe wrench or this. He's a piece of crap. You got you got to use deductive reasoning like Sherlock Holmes to figure out problems. You got to figure it out. It's common sense. If you're in a building with high speed internet as well as cable, high speed, then may I ask, how on earth can you get a uh, a low internet speed uh, message if you're going live on this piece of shit? Facebook. Interesting. Anyway, I took a shower, deodorant, cologne, new haircut, shave, boom, boom, I'm ready. Got my shoes on, my good shoes. Just a matter of time before they, uh, they pick me up. Joe Souza comes by in his stretch limousine with the performing artist, the Renaissance man and evangelist can create. And we head on over to uh, Pier 115, which is probably probably the address of the establishment. It's probably 115, guaranteed. It's probably 115 River Road, Edgewater, New Jersey. And hopefully the same great DJ that they had last week is still there. Not the DJ they had the previous week playing that ghetto rap crap. I'm talking about this guy played classic dance club music, freestyle, old house music, you know, uh, 90s club music. Not that that garbage that they that these stupid ass brain cell deficient kids listen to today. So. Of course, many of the people I invited. Uh, oh, here we go. Donald Booth. Hello there, Donald Booth. Hello there. Greetings, my friend. Greetings, greetings, greetings. Yes. Yes, I have permission, my ass. They always want to ask people for permission. Permission to do this, to do that.
I I'm I'm really upset that you know me and me and Ken were talking about some really heavy duty deep subjects. All right, for forty five minutes, and only one minute, only one minute, was recorded on Facebook live stream, which makes. Facebook live stream, a stream of urine going into a medical cup ready to be analyzed. That's what that means. That's right. Low budget. Low budget outsourced computer programmers that barely passed uh, their uh, tech school curriculum. Curriculum. Sounds almost like Caligula. So, Donald, what's happening now? You, uh, you, you recently, uh, Donald Boos, who was supposed to do a travel-oriented show with me, uh, just um, completed his journey to Puerto Vallarta, uh, Mexico, which is on the Pacific Ocean, north of Acapulco. He came back from there, and now he's headed back to Las Vegas, uh, which is great that he goes there often because Ken Create will be moving there temporarily to work to perform on the Las Vegas Strip. He is very close friends. He grew up with the famous uh, magician Rocco Solano, who gets booked all over the world. And Rocco hooked him up with someone along with uh, uh, theatrical magician uh, uh, David Martin, they have someone that will be um, setting, can create, up, oh, doing performances outdoors on the Las Vegas Strip. And this will be happening in the very, very near future. When I say very, I mean it could be any day now before can create heads out to, uh, to Las Vegas. And, uh, and uh, we will be communicating. Uh, hopefully, we'll be able to go live. And you'll see Ken Create on the Las Vegas Strip doing his thing. And he'll be hitting all of the top nightclubs, dance clubs in Las Vegas, tearing up that floor, flashing his magical props. It, he, he's waiting for... Uh, they sold the family house. He's waiting for five more grand, five more thousand dollars on top of his share of the uh, property, of the house. Uh, and then as soon as he gets the five grand uh, extra on top of what he already got, uh, he will be headed for Las Vegas. So you're talking about, you know, uh, any, week, any week now, any day now, and... Uh, I'll be posting it online. Uh, he had to use his real name uh, to set up a Facebook profile because they, they would not let him use his stage name. So he, his real name is uh, Kenny Padula. So he's on there. He's on my friends list. Uh, P-A-D-U-L-A. And, um, you know, just about everything he's done online... I mean, everything he's done, period, which is, was put on Facebook and, uh, and other, other areas, is on his Facebook profile. So all the links are there, everything he's ever done, whether it be uh, religious sermons, whether it be theatrical performances, whether it be street performances, it's all there. But um, he's just, uh, he is a um, definitely... A sight to behold, as seen on the web, the Renaissance man can create. Now you will be in Las Vegas, according to what I see here. You will be there this Wednesday. Very good. What, which hotel will you be staying at this time? Yes, Kenny Padula is definitely the man. Definitely, in more ways than one. He writes screenplays, uh, lyrics to songs, um, 
stories. Um, um, he's a he's a pastor, fantastic evangelist uh, that knows scripture like the back of his hand, as well as his performances. His uh, he does creative dance and creative mime, and he utilizes uh, props, magical props. If you look up Rocco Solano on YouTube. You'll see what I mean. This guy is uh, absolutely incredible. Rocco Solano has played mainland China, of course, Vegas, Europe. He's the type of guy that can go right in front of your face and have playing cards liter literally vanish out of thin air and then reappear. You know, he's one of those magicians. You know, they I think they call it like up close street magic, not not David David Copperfield with the big theatrical you know uh, stuff. A Hilton property. That's the name of the resort. A Hilton property? No, it's owned by Hilton, right? Hey, tell me something. Is the the Carnival buffet at the Rio? still rated one of the top buffets in the world? I'm just wondering. My, I know my brother Scott stood at the Luxor, you know, the pyramid? Yeah, I know, I know he did. Excuse me. I gotta keep track of time also. Okay. Greetings, Anasaur. Tolentino is watching. She is a chef. She has experience as a chef aboard uh, um, Royal Caribbean cruise ships, I believe. Yes, she has a lot of experience there. So, um, welcome. So, anyway, yeah, the it, it's rated very high. Yeah, it was on, it's been on all the, the food shows on TV, uh, the Carnival Buffet at the Rio, uh, but I'm sure it's, it's so competitive there, I'm sure that uh, finding good food in Las Vegas is the least of anyone's worries, and finding reasonable food is the least of anyone's worries. I hear, I hear, uh, Getting a good meal is very inexpensive in Las Vegas. So I don't think Ken Create will have any problem uh, with his food bill, you know. And uh, But I will find out when he's going, and I will find out uh, on, on the days that you're going to be in Vegas, I'll find out where he will be performing. On, on the Strip. Oh, the Luxor is a nice place, Don, Donald Boost says. Yeah, I mean, you know, like, we could easily do a tourist-oriented live show. Uh, like, if, you know, but, you know, I'd rather have, it would be nicer if your video was alongside of mine when we do that show. Uh, giving people advice on travel. You know, like you would be a co-host. So, anyway, um, let me see, what time, is, oh, it's, oh, it's that late already? Hold on, hold on, people. What do you know? It's slightly after 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Oh. You have to go to Fremont Street for the best meal deals. Hey, thank you. I will pass this valuable information on to Ken Create. Fremont Street for the best meal deals. You'll See, you're, you people are getting advice right now. You're getting sound tourist advice from a man who has been all over. Literally, he was in the Navy and he's been all over. Now, as a civilian, he's all over the place. 
This is Mr. Resort himself, Donald Resort Professional Boost. You jabronis out there. Now, I got another warning about low internet connection. There's no way I could possibly be experiencing a low internet. It can't be. Well, <laughs> because you're you're in Pacific time. You're you're in the San Diego area. Of course, it's only 8 p.m. for you. Ha ha ha. Well, guess what? Eventually, it's going to be 11 p.m. for you too. Now, wouldn't that be something if they the government really combines the time zones like they said they they were going to do? They're going to like uh, mainland China combine their time zones. Back in the 19th century, the United States literally had several hundred time zones, and they had to they had to consolidate them because of severe railroad issues, really bad railroad issues. So, uh, yes, that's you, Donald Resort Guru Boos, and remember. If you want to do that show, you can't be shy. You got to go on video. I know a lot of these jabronis, these other jabronis, are afraid to go on video on a live show. I know it because they dodge me every every chance they get. You know they were scared. They were scared. You know, like like when Harvey, remember the honeymooners, that little guy uh, George, the ball headed guy. You know, that says, you better give us, you better give us that pool table or I'm going to tell my friend Harvey. He says, they're just as scared. They were scared. That's what they are. It will take, it will take, no, it won't take a while. If they're not, if they're not willing to show their mug uh, and say how they really feel about everything in life, on a live stream recorded show, if they're not willing to do it day one, they'll never do it. They'll never do it. You gotta have big hairy brass coolums, cojones. You got it. They gotta be big and full and made of titanium. You gotta grab the like Archie Bunker used to say. You have to grab the bull by the corns, by the corns. It's actually by the horns, but you know, Arch, Archibald used to mispronounce everything. You gotta grab the bull by the corns. If they're not gonna show their mug and, and express themselves on live stream and recorded, don't forget recorded, if they don't do it right away, they'll never do it. Because they're afraid, a lot of them are sycophants, they're afraid of offending someone. They were afraid that, ooh, someone might not like them. Ooh, ooh, I won't be accepted. Oh, someone will, will be mad at me. Someone will not like me. I, I might not get laid because, because of what I said on social media. Ooh, I won't get in her panties. No, no okay. It's reality. No, no okay, Donald. It's reality. I never, I have never really lied, ever. The only time I would ever consider a lying is if it meant uh, collecting a Powerball lottery winnings or something. It has to be something on a grand scale for me to tell a little white lie, uh, otherwise known as a fib. Other than that, I don't lie. Yes, the honeymooners, there's nothing like the classics, Donald, Sanford and Son, the odd couple, the honeymooners. There's nothing like the, the classic uh, sitcoms, you know, the only sitcom I couldn't stand, I gotta be honest with you, I love Lucy, I thought Lucille Ball was a royal pain in the ass. She kept on barging uh, uh, onto Desi Arnaz's uh, show, the ba as he's singing Babalu. It was wherever he was working, she kept on barging, un uninvited. She wasn't even booked. She kept on 
you know, jumping on his show. A very annoying woman. Extremely, extremely annoying. And she treated, she talked shit about him all the time in real life. But the honeymooners got canceled because of I Love Lucy. It's true. No, no, no. Uh, uh, they were supposed to make arrangements with me yesterday. I have it in two weeks have gone by. Uh, Jimmy Liguori and my friend Brian Slate, they haven't touched base with me. Normally I hear from, from them for, to asking me, am I going to come down on a Friday night? Nothing. Because, you know, I lost my car in the flood. So before, I was a, I was a wonderful guy. Oh, my, be my closest best friend when I had a car. Now that I don't have a car, I don't hear from him. Because, you know, Brian, he lives with a, with a woman in Fort Lee, which is the next town over. So he dropped me off at home. He dropped me off at home. No big deal. I, he didn't go out of his way. That was the first, first Friday. Second Friday, I didn't hear from him. So, you know, what's the big deal? He's the next town over. Listen, when, you're, when things are going very well for you and you're on top of the world, everyone wants to be your best friend. Remember that. You know, so you, you really, when, 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 you, when you struggle a, a bit in life and you hit some roadblocks, you find out who your real friends are. That's all. I'm not contacting them because I see what's going on. Believe me, I am not contacting them. I mean, what's the big deal? I get a ride over there. Brian drops me home. He lives next town over. Fort Lee, New Jersey. No big deal. Now, my brother, my brother who owns an auto body shop is taking his, time, his sweet time sweet ass time no I don't have a car yet Donald I don't wanna I don't wanna end up with a car with issues where I I'm going to spend a lot of money you know at the mechanics uh, garage you know I, I want to get a good reliable vehicle uh, it doesn't have to be a sports car it doesn't have to be a super luxury car it can, it can even be a reliable four-cylinder Kia or Hyundai or Ford Focus. I don't care. As, as long as it's a reliable car with decent gas mileage, they all have front-wheel drive, they all have air conditioning, and that's all I care about. I really, I really would have loved to have my brother call me and say, James, I got your car. Because believe me, there's nothing... There are people who have who take public transportation their, almost their whole life. I hate it. I feel like I've lost my independence. I feel confined. There's nothing like instantly jumping in your vehicle and just going wherever you want to go within a timely fashion, like really quick. Nothing like it. But you know what? This is the situation I was in. I, I was at the wrong place at the wrong time. During a torrential rain, thunderstorm, I turned down the wrong street. And within seconds, I was in deep water. And if I were to turn down another street, if I were to take in another detour, my car would be with me right now. And my friends would be kissing my ass, telling me you're, you're my best friend in the whole world and everybody, everything would be fine. Now, if I did win the Powerball lottery, my friends would be, re would be crawling up my anus. Believe me. They'll be, they'll be knocking my door down to, to, to be my fucking chauffeur. Yeah, I know what it's like to, to, to try to keep a, a, a late model car going. It, it's not pleasurable. You know, the, the mechanical bills. Now, now there's, uh, there's a mechanic uh, insurance that they're advertising now. No, because the, the book value of the car, 
the, the engine costs, would cost $2,500 to replace. The mechanic said, James, it doesn't pay. It really doesn't pay. 2500 bucks for a new engine. You know, so... That's how it is, you know. It's, um... Hey. I was talking about... Um... Online dating with Ken Create, even though it didn't get recorded. You know what all the, the young females are saying at the beginning of their profile? Especially the young black girls and uh, Hispanic, some of them Hispanic, some of them are white, but they're young. They, the first sentence, Donald, I am looking for a sugar daddy to spoil me and take care of me. Uh, I don't want no broke guy which is terrible grammar, by the way. I don't want no broke guy. I want a sugar daddy to spoil me and take care of me. Now, you see how society has become? That is, to me, glorified prostitution. If that is the primary criteria for dating and, and, and marrying a man, then that is glorified prostitution. And the website I'm talking about is called Tinder. They have a phone app. Tinder, there's Tinder, there's POF, which is not really bad. It's actually, you know, there's more older people there. They're, they're you know, more, more, they're more normal. Tinder has everybody. You got, you got prostitutes and escorts advertising. You got, you got ghetto trash. You got a lot of young kids saying, I want myself a sugar daddy to spoil me and take care of me. I got news for them. I told one of them, the only thing a man has to do in life is die and pay taxes. And if you're rich, you get away with paying taxes. Yeah, they just, they just come out and say it, Donald, right at the beginning of their profile on Tinder. I want a sugar daddy to spoil me and take care of me. I, I don't want, that's all I want. That's all I care about. And um, do they honestly, I told, I told a few of them, you honestly think a rich man is that stupid and foolish? Rich people don't get rich and stay rich by being stupid fools. They think that a man is going to do all that and spend all that money for nothing because you know what else they say in the second sentence? No hookups. Oh, I forgot to mention that. I want a sugar daddy to spoil me and take care of me, but no hookups. Oh, so a man is going to do that for free. Ah. Yeah, as a man that is rich is going to spend all that money on them and take care of them because they're young and pretty. And he is going to expect absolutely nothing in return. This is an educational live show. I'm telling you right now. This is, this is true. I'm not telling you any lies. This is the God's honest truth. You know, this is what they're saying. This is what the young ones are saying. I don't know if they're, they're still called millennials. Uh, I don't know if there's a new name for the generation before millennials. But they are pretty much... Uh, 18 into their early 20s and all they talk about is money when it comes to men money 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 you know but no hookups well hookup is nothing's for free in life I mean hookup is the payback yeah well I, I these guys are gonna be picking me up any minute so I'm gonna have to finish off this show even though I'm having fun, it's very educational, it's very uh, invigorating and enthusiastic to be here. But, uh, you know, we'll do it again. You, you know what? You, you bring up a topic in uh, Facebook Messenger that you feel should be discussed, and we'll do it. And then hopefully, someday, you know, you'll go on with me uh, with your video. And other people would do the same thing. 
because I've been doing it with the with the the fine wine, the craft beer, and the and the uh, liquor, the fine liquor, the shows that I've been doing. We all go on video, so that's not a problem. But anyway, for now, have a safe and happy Labor Day weekend, 2019. And I emphasize the word safe as well as fun, because that's what it is. It's Saturday, August 31st, the last day of August, 2019. Tomorrow's the first of the month. And then Monday is the last day of all the festivals that are going around here. One in Lodi, one in Patterson. And, uh, oh, look who's here. Joe is here. Da, da, look, Joe Salza, the official limousine driver for the Renaissance Men Can Create. God bless him. He's probably outside right now. I think he is outside. Yeah, I gotta go. That's, I'm I'm out of here, people.